Good okay, everybody, for the Supreme Court Tournament here is it's 11.57 p.m. on Friday, April 15th, 2022. This is going to be a burger review, and we're going right back to Whataburger today, and you're asking yourself, why are you going back? Well, yeah? Checking in. All right. We're back for this one, and we're going to start with the ori one that started it all, still number one, the original Whataburger, as it was back in 1952. <laughs> Or 1950 in San Antonio, Texas, and they have grown locations throughout the Southwest and the Southeast. Even though most of the Whataburger locations happen to be in Texas, they're expanding more and more every single day. And the original Whataburger remains a classic. You want to know what's on it? Well, you've got yourself a large bun. You got a bun. You got a beef patty. A slice of tomato. Some lettuce. Pickles, diced onion, and of course some mustard. Now, if you want any cheese on there, you can add that, but it's going to be but it'll be fifty five cents extra. If you don't want any cheese or add ons, that's okay. You can leave it as it is with the tomato, pickles, lettuce, and onion, diced onions on there, as well as the mustard. Now, if you're not a fan of mustard, you can substitute that for ketchup. That's not going to cost you a thing. And that's the beauty of it. And if you get the meal, it's, get, you get a medium fries and medium drink. Now, you can get a Coca-Cola, a Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, Sprite, one of their milkshakes, whatever you want. And you can do it with little calorie sides, of course, with apple slices and unsweetened iced tea, if you choose to do that, too. The original Whataburger is number one on the menu and number one for, for the people who love the taste of it and live in Texas and other parts of the U.S., southwest, southeast, you guys... Definitely will enjoy the Whataburger for many years to come. It always has been and will always be the classic Whataburger that you know and love. And making a meal, which is always great because nobody wants to eat the Whataburger just by itself. No, it needs, it needs some fries and it needs an ice cold beverage. I mean... Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? You can't have burgers without fries or a soft drink? Well, that's the point. So, that's it for my review of the Whataburger from Whataburger, the original, and still number one. Even after over 60 years. So, that's going to do it for this one. Next review is going to be another burger from Whataburger, so stay tuned and find out what that one's going to be.